Hello guys, this is Jitsun from the Tech Revolutionist and today we are going to take a look at two graphics cards. The graphics card competition is really getting heated up. While well, EMD has released their new Radeon RX 5700 series that really brought 1440p gaming to the masses at an affordable price, Nvidia over here didn't want to lose out at the top end segment. This is why they have refreshed their new RTX graphics card with the new Super series. Today, we are taking a look at the new Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2070 Super Gaming OC graphics card and compare it to the Founders Edition. Today's video is brought to you by Motion Source. If you are interested to find out more about the amazing works from Motion Source, please visit motionsource.com. First off, let's take a look at the specifications. Because both cards, they are actually fundamentally RTX 2070 supers at heart, they have the same hardware. Each card has a total of 2560 CUDA cores, and they are clocked at a base clock of 1605 MHz. The only difference is that the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2070 over here, Super Gaming OC card, has a factory boost overclock. The reference boost clock is at 1770 MHz, while the Gigabyte boost clock is at 1815 MHz. Both graphics cards have a memory of 8 GB. Uh, they are actually GDDR6 memory. Just based on the looks, we can see that both cards have a very different kind of design. The Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2070 Super Gaming OC has more of a gaming feel, while the Founders Edition retains a more professional design. The Gaming OC has three fans, as opposed to the Founders Edition 2 fans. We, of course, we should expect that the Gigabyte Gaming OC version will perform cooler, much cooler than the Founders Edition. At the same point of time, this card is also slightly longer than the Founders Edition. An interesting thing to take note here is that the Gigabyte Gaming OC's middle fan rotates in a different direction other than the two other fans at the sides. This is said to bring better heat, a better heat dissipation for the graphics card. Both graphics cards are supported by a metallic backplate that improves both heat dissipation as well as support. And support could really be uh, particular in these cards because they actually weigh quite a bit. Both graphics cards also require a single 6-pin and 8-pin supplementary power connector to power them up. They also have identical graphics output ports, which are three display ports, one HDMI port, as well as one USB Type-C port for virtual link support, which makes the 2070 Super compatible with the latest VR headsets. That's the quick introduction and comparison between the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2070 Super Gaming OC graphics card as well as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition card. For performance results and the full review, please remember to visit our website at www.thetechrevolutionist.com. This is Zhicheng from The Tech Revolutionist, signing out.